Hey guys, so in this video, we're gonna extend the user model by adding a relationship to another model. So that model will hold information like extra customer information, um, maybe a profile picture and all sorts of things like that. So instead of adding this to the user model, we're just gonna do this to that extension. So what we're gonna do is actually create that profile with this customer model here. So normally we would go ahead and call this something like profile, but because I already have this built out in my system, we're just gonna go ahead and extend it by adding an attribute called user. So before we do that, I'm gonna copy and paste and import. So just go ahead and make sure you have from django.contrib.auth.models import that user model. And to set that one one-to-one -one relationship, we're just gonna do models dot one to one and then field. And we're just gonna set that user to be the relationship there. And we're first gonna set null to be true because we already have some customers and I wanna be able to migrate this. And then we're gonna do on underscore delete. And we'll just do models dot cascade. So cascade just basically means that whenever a user is deleted, we'll go ahead and delete that relationship to that customer. So again, a one-to-one -one field means that a user can have one customer and a customer can only have one user. And I have a misspell here. So models, and let's go ahead and just migrate this. So I'll open up the command prop and run that migration. So we'll do python manage.py make migration. And looks like I spelled something wrong, make migration, make migrations. So it has to be an S there. And then we'll just go ahead and finish up this migration by doing python manage dot py migrate. So let's turn, turn on the server and just make sure we have that now. So run the server and let's go ahead and create a relationship right now. So in our admin panel, we are gonna set up a relationship between a customer and a user. So I'll log in as our super admin or super user and I'll set the relationship between John here with the user of John. So right now the information is a little redundant because we have a name for the customer too, but um, this will make sense when we start adding things like the profile page. So we'll create this relationship and let's actually go to our customer profile page and render out some information that only John will be able to see on his page. So if I log out from the main dashboard and log in as John, we want to actually render out some information here. So we'll query it right now from the view and then I'll actually throw in a table. So we'll be able to see all of John's orders and the stats here. So let's go to the view so we can close this out and we'll find that user profile. And one thing we're gonna wanna do to this profile, if you're coming here from the last video, this should be familiar to you. We wanna throw in these mix-ins. So we wanna make sure the user is required. And we also wanna make sure that the role of the user is customer at this point. So this is definitely relevant if you're part of the series. And to get this information from the user, what we need to do is actually get a lot of the same information from that main dashboard. So what we wanna do is get the orders, but instead of getting all of the orders, what we need to do here is actually say orders, and this is gonna be relevant to the request.user.customer. So because we have that relationship, this is how we can query it now because the orders are relevant to the customer, not the user. So we're gonna do request.user.customer.order underscore set dot all. So that just allows us to grab all of this customer's orders. And now we have access to those. So let's go ahead and pass those into the template or into the context dictionary here. So we'll do orders. And now I want to be able to render them out in the template. So Let's go ahead and first make sure we have those. So can't seem to spell today, but let's just print these out. So if I go ahead and print out orders and we'll just pass that in. Let's see what we have here. So I'll make sure the command prompts opened and open up our dashboard. And again, we're logged in as a user. There we go. So we have all of John's orders. So I'm gonna grab the template here and or open up the user template. We'll drag that there. And we're actually gonna steal some stuff from the customer template. So right now the user template's blank. 
or it's pretty empty. But what we're going to do is actually use a template. So if you're in the main dashboard and go to go to view a customer, we have a table here that just renders out all of a customer's information or all of the customer's orders. So we're going to paste that in here. So inside the to include tags, and we don't want the user to have access to update their information just yet. So we're going to remove the delete buttons. And now if I save this and we pass in these orders from the user page, we should see John's orders. So John can now log in and in theory, see all of his orders like that. So that works out just perfect. So what we can do now is actually grab these stats here. So total orders, orders delivered and pending and take them from that main dashboard. So once we had our query set, we can actually get total orders delivered and pending and drop those down in here. So what we're doing is we're accessing these orders right here and we're simply running this count method and counting the total and then the ones with the status of delivered and pending. And I can just pass those into the context now. So if I start from customers to pending, I can paste them in right here and I'll just clean that up. And now that should work. So because I have all of that included in my template already, so we've included it with the status right here. So that's the include tag to that right here. So it has total orders delivered and orders pending. So if I refresh it, there we go. So now John can log in and see everything. So the last thing we're going to do is actually make sure that when a new user signs up, they are assigned a customer profile. So let's go ahead and log out and go to the sign up page. And if we go to our views, we can do something very similar to how we add a customer to a group. So a customer is added to a group automatically. So what we want to do now is actually do customer dot objects dot create. And at this point, we're only going to give this customer a user. So we're going to say user. So remember that now in our models file, the customer model has this user attribute now. So it just has to be a relationship. So because we've already queried the user right here on create. So once the user was created, it was saved into this variable right here. We can say user is equal to user right there. And that should create a customer. So if I go ahead and register a new user and we'll say uh, Sam and we'll just do Sam at gmail.com and we'll just set a password and register that user account was created. We'll go ahead and now log in. So when we log in with this new user, we don't have any orders yet, but that profile was created and or that user was created and that customer account was created with the stats rendered out here. So in the next video, we're actually going to render out or we're going to add an image field to this model so that when a user logs in and they want to reset their password or do stuff like that, they're going to see their profile picture and we'll follow up with stuff like that. So abilities for the user to create more orders and maybe change their password information and so on.